This is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com and tonight I'm going to show you a way that let's say you have a pending update. You've um, gone to your machine. I don't have one here so you're just going to have to pretend with me. So you've gone to here and you start to shut down and you realize there's a pending update. And you go out to the Windows Update settings and you go, whoops, I don't want to install whatever is right here. And you go, hmm, pausing won't do it and it's literally down here getting ready to install so how do you get rid of a update that you forgot to pause it's about to install and you don't want to install it so here's what i do there's several ways you can do it this is this is just one way but i like to actually make sure it's done so i do it this way like i said there's many ways you can do it there's some out in the knowledge base this is one way that i do it so the first thing i do is i come out here to the search box and I type in services and I get this interface up to services and then I go down here and find the Windows Update service. It's all the way down here somewhere. There we go. And what you have to do is um, it is usually in manual mode with the trigger start and I usually stop it and then I also, for purposes of what I'm doing right now, I make sure it doesn't make, try to restart and I put it temporarily to disabled. Now I don't want you to do it, leave it to disabled at all times because you want to make sure that um, like Defender updates come down and, and Edge updates come down and things like that. So I don't want you to leave it on disabled, but we're going to do temporarily disabled. And then I come out here to File Explorer and I go to my C drive. And I go down here to Windows, and I scroll down to the bottom, and I go under Software Distribution. And you can actually safely get rid of all of these folders. All of this folder structure will be rebuilt once you turn Windows Update back on. But the pending update is in these lovely folders, and it's sometimes hard to tell. This lovely funky name stuff is... is typically pending updates. Again, I don't have one to show you exactly, but trust me, if you had a pending update, um, even like Windows 11 22H2, you'd see it built in these folders. You wouldn't know what exactly is because they use funky little GUID codes and things like that. But all you have to do is come out here and start deleting things. And usually I do them Again, this is just my personal preference. I don't do the whole folder at the same time. I do one at a time. Now, you will get um, this notification saying, hey, you're going to have to provide administrator permission to delete the file. And that's okay. Click continue. And it deletes the file. And then you just, again, one at a time. And there you go. Now, what I do is I come back here to services and I put it back to manual because that's how it is on Windows 10. Now, if you had Windows 8.1 or Windows 7, I believe those are both automatic. On Windows 10, it turns it on as it's needed. And then if you go back out to Windows Update, I'm not going to check for updates, but it should. The next time it comes out there, it will rebuild this folder structure. Now, I'm going to... I'd never, ever recommend that you click on check for updates. I'm literally just doing this tonight just to show you how it will rebuild the folder structure. So I do not recommend that you check for updates. I recommend that you just leave it, and the next time it will unpause and check for updates, it will rebuild, rebuild the folder structure. But for purposes of demonstration, I'm going to click on check for updates, just so you can see that it does indeed, as you see here, it's rebuilt the folder structure. So it's no big deal to delete those out because it literally just rebuilds what it needs 
the next time it checks for updates. So that's how I get rid of updates that are about to install on my machine and I'm freaking out and I do not want them on my machine. I go into Windows Services, I stop Windows Update, I go into the Software Distribution folder, I delete everything out, and then I don't have the pending update. So there you go. This is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com.